In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 ways to ease your mind. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The uncertainty surrounding the coronavirus pandemic is difficult to deal with, especially for those who have a mental health problem. It's a once-in-a-lifetime situation that can feel completely overwhelming. However, the lockdown will only last for a short time, and your anxiety and fears will fade away. Until then, we've enlisted the help of mental health professionals to share some simple but effective techniques for dealing with anxiety during this period. Number 1. Try Meditation. Paying more attention to the present moment can help you put your fears into perspective if you're prone to catastrophizing and worrying about the future. According to Dr. Iram Chaudhry, medical director at Men's Wellness Platform Manual, mindful meditation requires you to make a note of each thought as it arises. While it will be difficult to immediately achieve the state of a empty mind, you will be able to relax your mind and observe how your feelings and emotions move around in different patterns. Number 2. Stay connected to your social circle. Maintaining virtual contact while practicing social distancing or self-isolation, especially if you live alone, is one way to safeguard your mental health. There is a whole world of apps and games out there that you can play online with your friends to stay connected, Chaudhry says. Number 3. Exercise your creative brain. According to Chaudhry, creativity is always a great outlet for those who tend to feel anxious or need something to put their minds to. To pass the time on weekends, you could try drawing, painting, or even writing creatively. Coloring is a fun activity to do, and there are a lot of free templates available on the internet. Putting pen to paper has been shown to relax the amygdala, the fear-controlling part of the brain, which can promote feelings of calm and relaxation, he adds. Number 4. Take a few deep breaths and stretch out your muscles. Regular physical activity, thanks to the release of happy hormones called endorphins, has long been thought to reduce stress, improve mood, and help you get a better night's sleep. YouTube has a lot of online yoga and home workout classes where you can get endless hours of relaxation with no equipment, Chaudhry says. Number 5. Allow the sun to shine in. If you're suffering from the anxiety-inducing effects of cabin fever, try to bring in as much natural light and fresh air as possible. While not everyone is blessed with a back garden, if you live in a flat in a big city, there are many ways to ensure you get enough sunlight and plants around you, says Chaudhry. He emphasizes, don't forget to open the windows and let some fresh air into your home. With the arrival of spring, the weather is proving to be a little more agreeable, allowing you to keep fresh air flowing throughout your home all day. Number 6. Maintain a consistent routine. Establishing a routine will allow you to be more productive while also lowering your anxiety levels. If you work from home, start your day with some physical activity and meditation, and during your lunch breaks, Take some time away from your computer to read, Chaudhry advises. The consistency of your routine will ensure that you do not waste any time daydreaming about worst-case scenarios. Number 7. Maintain control over obsessive tendencies. Washing your hands, even from your hands to your face, is essential to prevent germs from spreading. If you are confined to your home and have no contact with other people, however, you do not need to wash your hands every 20 minutes, Chaudhry says. By keeping track of how often you wash your hands and being more practical about it, you can put your mind at ease. Number 8. Make the most of your free time. Clear out your desk, complete all of the administrative tasks you've been putting off, and write letters or emails to people you've been meaning to contact. Think about all the things you've always wanted to do at home but haven't had the time, Chaudhry suggests. You can also call long-lost relatives you've been meaning to contact, check in on loved ones, or read that really big book you never thought you'd have time to read. Number 9. Just take a deep breath. Try this simple breathing technique for calming racing thoughts the next time you're feeling anxious. Dr. Jonkiel Chantry recommends counting to 8 on inhale, holding for 4 seconds at the top, and then counting down from 8 to 1 on exhale. Repeat this for the next 5 minutes, and you should notice a decrease in your heart rate. Number 10. Control the information you receive. While it's critical to stay up to date on government advice, reading misinformation or sensationalized stories can quickly exacerbate your anxiety. The same can be said for WhatsApp groups that are rife with terrifying conspiracy theories. Mark Simmons, author of Breakdown and Repair, A Father's Tale of Stress and Success, warns, we are in danger of being swamped by social media. The good news is that we have control over not only how we communicate, 
but also how often we communicate and with whom we communicate. Simmons recommends that you stick to reputable news sources and limit the amount of time you spend on social media ruminating with friends. Take command of your communication channels and determine what is best for your mental health. What do you think about our advices? Do you want to share any other tip? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications before you go. Thanks for watching.